If doing one of the primary studies we've been talking about isn't an option, a benefit transfer can be used. You essentially take the results of primary studies already done and apply them to another area. It's a lot like house appraisal. There are different methods of house appraisal, but one way is you look at how much houses are selling for, look at the properties of the houses, the properties of the market, and make an estimate for how much this house with these properties would sell for. If the house is basically identical to this house next door that just sold, you can probably assume it's going to sell for pretty much the same amount. If the house we're comparing it to is quite different and in a different neighborhood, with different distances to amenities. There probably isn't enough information about this one house to let us analyze the other one, but examining lots of houses looking for patterns and what people value should be able to give a better estimate. It doesn't matter how perfectly the appraisal is done, how much it's actually going to sell for will depend on the people bidding on it, but the appraisal can give an estimate. Same with an ecosystem service. We would defer to a primary study for accuracy, but a benefit transfer study can give an approximation. The study we're learning from we'll call the study case, we're studying it, and where we're trying to apply the information we'll call the policy case. The place where we're probably trying to figure out what the best coming decision or policy should be. The simplest transfer would just be to transfer the unadjusted unit value, take the average results of the study case and apply it to the policy case. But like with house valuation, for this to be at all viable, the study and policy cases should be very, very similar. So let's say we wanted to estimate the change in value of recreational fishing at our policy site. Let's say the change would be a lower amount and lower diversity of fish because of a new source of pollution upstream. We would want to find a study case that had a similar change as well as being similar in areas such as the kinds of fish, quality of the lakes, the demand for substitute lakes nearby, complementary things nearby, docks, parking, the populations need to be similar, their distance to the lake, their income, age distribution, education level, and their culture. You get the idea, anything that would affect demand and factor in any changes. When doing benefit transfer studies alongside primary studies to check to see how accurate a benefit transfer can be, transferring only a unit value like this tend to be the least accurate ways of going about it, which makes sense. It can be like transferring the information from a single house with no adjustments. Unless if they're identical, you can expect the estimation to be off. What you want to do is look at several studies, examine the results they got, and all the factors that were important in affecting willingness to pay. And also look at the features of the studies themselves, the year, sample size, measures of deviation, then subject all that to regression analysis, looking for correlations in what is affecting willingness to pay. Then assuming that relationship will hold true for the policy site, input the characteristics of the policy site into the equation that regression analysis created. It's still relatively important important to have similarity between the sites. We can only see correlations. A very different situation may have a very different relationship between characteristics. If we can imagine at the study sites, the people have a marginal willingness to pay at the time of the study. If this represents the information about people that the researchers are trying to measure when they do try to measure it, they're going to have a bit of error because of uncertainties, assumptions, and mistakes. And it's not going to be 100% accurate. The benefit transfer is adding another layer of error. Even if the benefit transfer was done perfectly and all the assumptions that were made were true, it could only ever be as accurate as the original study. So it's very important to base the transfer on solid study cases. The more accurate primary studies there are to work from, the more accurate benefit transfer can be. Like with house appraisal, there are so many houses sold, their value and their characteristics are pretty well very accurate, so the appraisal can give a very good estimation. And that's sort of what we're aiming for with a benefit transfer.